transformation really is power, well then Travis was God. But what good is all this information, this power, if I can't find the one damn thing that I need? Hi, um, um, I'm Natasha, the new tenant. Here goes the paperwork that I owe you. Um, sorry about that. I would have left it at your mailbox, but there's some creepy guy with like glasses and a beard, and I wanted to give it to you first. That's uh, that's just Paul. He's mostly harmless. Oh, okay. I'm Elliot, by the way. Oh, Natasha again. Nice to meet you. Oh, uh, Natasha. Hold on, you dropped something. Have you seen Natasha? You just missed her. Excuse me. I was wondering if you could tell me where the new super lives? Um, he lives here. Uh, me, I am, I'm the new super. Oh, great. I'm Christy Givens. I work down at the soup kitchen that Travis used to volunteer at. Everyone was so sad to hear about what happened to him. He's a really good man. Passed on well before his time. Um, anyway, I came to bring this sympathy card. I should have done it at the funeral, but there wasn't one. And I don't know of any of his family, so I thought maybe I'd bring it here so you could put it up for the people who knew him best. Who? His tenants. Oh, of course. Uh, yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank I, you. I will put that right up. It was nice meeting you. I'm Elliot, by the way. It was nice meeting you, Elliot. Tash, hurry up. Come on, we're going to be late. Whatever. I'll get there faster than you, though. Oh, come on. <laughs> the autopsy also provides an opportunity for other issues raised by the death to be addressed, such as the collection of trace evidence or determining the identity of the deceased. Hey, Mommy, what's up? Natasha? Mommy, what's up? Mom, I have class, and I also have to work. That's not important. What's going on? You think you're the only one who's busy? It's bad enough I have to worry about your brother. I shouldn't have to worry about you two. How is Tommy? Is he all right? Oh, now he's concerned. Mom, don't start with me. Is he okay? He has his good days and his bad days, just like anybody else. He's always asking about his big sister, though. I'm sure he'd like to hear from you. Listen, Mom, I gotta go. Um, I'll talk to you later, all right? I love you. Was I boring you, Natasha? No, of course not. I just had to take a look. Look, you don't have to go into it right now. All I ask is that if you're in my class, that you remain in my class until the lecture's over. Of course. Life means making tough choices. We can't have our future doctors missing out on information that might help make those choices easier. It won't happen again. Good, and I look forward to your report next class in the auditorium. Why would she lie about where she lived? Did she know something about Lisa? No. 
No, how could she? She's very new to the building. But she is living in Travis's old apartment. Maybe she found something. And it could give me an excuse to go see Christy. I mean, these addresses are pretty close. Bartender, can I have a double shot of whiskey, please? Thanks. It's quite the, uh, the work, uh, the drink. Four o'clock in the afternoon. It is. Thank you. You all right? Are you just asking that to ask that, or are you trying to be the OP? Honestly, I, I wouldn't have asked for that. Well, since you're so sincere about it, I'll tell you. Let's see, where do you begin? My uh, professor thinks that I'm taking class for a joke, which I'm not. I have a mother that keeps calling and calling and calling me, thinking I could do something about her situation, but I can't. And I have a brother who's sick, and I work my ass off. But he doesn't get it, he doesn't see it. My mother, I work my ass off with her, and she doesn't see it. So what do you do? I mean, when family and school plays tug of war, who wins? I guess family does, you know? So I'll be going back. We got to that. Right now, I just feel you got, you got to continue to fight. You know? Don't let your, don't let your past dictate your future. <laughs> that is easier said than done. And you know that. It is. It is, but I've I've been here. I've been in this bar for a minute now. I've I've seen a lot of people, and they vary in success. But what I see in you is that you're determined to be great, and um, you know, you gotta you gotta use your brother as motivation. Your family, your family's always gonna be there. They're always gonna love you. But this opportunity at school that you have right now, won't. It just won't. I mean. I, uh, bought a donation in honor of Travis and all. That's sweet of you. God knows we could use it. Giving's been in short supply lately. Where have all the good people gone? It's, uh, two-for-one appetizers at Chili's. They, uh, they could all be there. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Would you want to get dinner with me sometime? Sure, that sounds great. As long as it's not chilies. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't have to be chilies. I'm pretty sure Applebee's has some good deals <laughs> too, so it's a date? It's a date.
When I was writing my report, the first thing I considered was the position of the body. Unless he was fixing something on the roof and had a heart attack, we can rule out natural. But the body was laid out on his back. His arms were flared out to the side. And he has defensive wounds to what I believe are linked to homicide. So what are you saying? I think we should run closer DNA testing. Are you really ruling out suicide? Not completely, but we'll know more when we do more tests. So are we going to the police? We have nothing to tell them yet. But go ahead and run the test you suggested, and then we'll tell them what we find out. Good work, Natasha. It's funny what you can learn about someone by just observing. The more you watch and listen, the more you can learn about others and yourself. But having the control to just observe can be a lot harder than you think.